All right, well, we made it. One, two, two rods in, two rod maximum at the uh, jetty structure. Pier, jetty, unless otherwise stated in California, two rod max. Right here with this guy, Die Hard Fishing. Round two at the Half Moon Bay Jetty for the season. I was here last time with them. I think I caught a little female and it slipped off before I got it to the uh, got it to the jetty. It's been about five days since those really big waves came in. And uh, if there's any crabs, I think with this volume of water, all the wave activity pushing through is still pretty high in the water column. And those crabs probably haven't been feeding for like three or four days, at least not from humans because we haven't been fishing out here because it's been too dangerous. So um, I think it's a good as time as any to try to catch a crab. So if we hook up, you'll see it. Wish me luck. Oh, what is that? What is that? Big claws. Nice. Hey, there's some meat in there. All my squid's gone. Didn't touch my anchovy. More squid, please. All right, newer, higher capacity snare, softer loops. Maybe it's a, a little less resistance in the water as it sits on the bottom. Higher capacity, got just squid. So we're gonna use that information we gained from that last snare that had all the squid pulled out. Just put squid, cast in the general same area, see if we can actually catch one. Yeah, boy! Yes! 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 Oh, it's gonna be close. Yes! Yes! Alright. California, gotta be five and three quarters across the back from lateral spine to lateral spine. And you need a gauge like this, a uh, tape measure, seamstress tape measure, won't do. You gotta be able to prove that it's truly from here to here minimum five and three quarters so let's see if it hits yes Woo. first keeper of the season six inches across ah! this guy doesn't this guy does not want to be eaten i wouldn't want to be eaten either but oh man that's so gratifying yeah. Finally, it's I, this is my all third trip. Yeah, all that work for one. I mean, you could go to the store and buy like one of these for, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks nowadays. But to catch your own on the snares you made, and you just kind of put the time in. Try not to... Oh, look at that. I'm happy, man. Okay, let's go cook them up. Okay, I think this is going to be my first actual catch and cook them doing myself. I'm a big boy now. First and foremost, kind of wanted to thank banggood.com. They sent me this cook set and uh, this windscreen right here. So to uh, Jason at banggood.com, hooked me up with some cookware. Haven't used it in a while because honestly I haven't caught much. And uh, look at that, it's too windy. Pull that out, put it around my stuff. And this cookware right here, kind of the same kit that you've seen, you know, from a local YouTuber scene. Uh, just simple non-stick stuff, pulls down and comes complete with a butane burner that you just simply screw on to a little tank like that. So pretty cheap, pretty nice setup, baygood.com, a lot of stuff, kind of like the uh, Asian Amazon if you will. Now they always say the best way to prepare seafood is to match the salinity of the water that that seafood came out of and uh, came out of the Pacific Ocean in the Half Moon Bay Jetty area. So we're just going to scoop some salt water out of the jetty area and that's what we're going to use to boil our crab. Just like that. Doesn't take too much. Alright, to dispatch a crab there's a bunch of ways to do it. 
you can put it in really hot boiling water you can kill you can freeze them put them to sleep before you put them in or you can just rip their shells off and I think that disconnects enough nerve endings where it's a nice clean painless kill so what you want to do is grab the legs grab the claw one side one hand grab his shell and boom painless somewhat savage kill but well crabs dispatch let's break them apart put them in our pot boil them up we're gonna take the crab take off the lungs not needed take off the guts and kind of the bile area try to save the uh, the butter if we can but yeah see how that crab still pretty lively you'll get pinched if you're not careful Take it and break the shoulders apart. This one's pretty clean. Put this one in. Take off the mandibles. Take off the rest of the guts. The rest of the lungs. Here's the apron, don't need that. Boil the rest of this as is. All right, we'll give it about eight minutes, maybe nine minutes. Come back to it. We should have for sale some freshly steamed Pacific Coast Half Moon Bay caught Dungeness crabs. Mmm, it smells so good. I can practically smell it from across the jetty. It's been about nine, ten minutes. Let's open it up and see what we got. Dude, that smells just like Fisherman's Wharf. Any crab boil in the city smells so good. Fresh caught, look at that. About as fresh as it gets. All right, well, we did it. Took a few tries, but we finally got our crab that we've been searching for all season. Look at that. Oh man. Oh. Oh, so gratifying like it it's hard to convey how how gratifying it is to, I mean if you're a fisherman yes you understand the time and effort it takes to put into catching a targeted species and then being able to enjoy it you know later um, if you don't fish then you, I don't know maybe you don't understand how good this feels and how good this smells look at that perfectly cooked shoulder meat here's a little trick when you start on the legs I like to start on the legs, work my way up to the shoulders. Take the little tip off, all the juices inside. Come right out. Dude, it's it's salty. It's almost like it's almost like butter. You don't even need butter really. So good. This crab was walking around on the sandy bottom about 20 yards that way, about 15 minutes ago. Mmm. I kid you not. Cooking it in the ocean water it came out of makes a huge difference. I mean, you really don't even need salted butter. I mean, I guess you can throw the butter in for the fat, but there's, there's, man, there's a lot of flavor in here. I'm just eating it simple. Just straight out the shell. So good. All right, gonna break into the, sh the shoulder meat a little bit. Oh, look at that, man. Oh, it smells so good. You see that? Look at that. Mm. It's almost like a crab lollipop. Big reason why you wanna target males is because females commit a lot of their energy to egg production. And so the meat yield in the female bodies and legs, nowhere close to what it is in a male. A lot of their energy end up going to reproduction and growing themselves. And so females are normally stringy. You know, in Washington, Oregon, 
it's illegal to keep a female even for recreational fishermen california commercial fishermen can't keep them but recreational fishermen can good etiquette states that you should let females go you know definitely the pregnant ones but by law you can keep them in the past i've eaten females on camera and gotten from some slack some uh from uh <laughs> creative feedback for it but you know i'm within the rules but etiquette wise if you can catch a male toss your females back the flavor is that much better than the males and if you have the option of letting them go you definitely contribute to their population all right look at that going deeper and deeper into the shoulder oh man it just it smells so good i was so hungry and this is just hitting the spot like nothing else Is Eric, Ken, this one's for you. Thanks for subscribing. Oh, and pro tip. If you decide to do a catch and cook on the jetty or beach or wherever, keep the top of the shell on you because in the event a warden comes by, they're gonna wanna make sure that the crab you're eating is legal. And the only way to measure it is if you keep the part of the shell that you need to measure to deem it legal. So just keep it nearby, don't chuck it just yet. Hard to prove that the crab is legal if you just have the legs and the shoulders, but this might save you from a ticket. Some of you guys are turned off by the crab butter, but... I've come to appreciate it. It's salty, it's sweet, it's bitter. It's a lot of things. It's really good. All right, and here we have the piece de la resistance. The butter melted crab. All right, well, didn't didn't melt as much as I thought it would, but oh, it smells like cholesterol. Damn. Not the healthiest option. Anyone can go and buy crabs in the store. I get it. When you put the time in and the work in to catch your own. It's an experience that people that go to the store and just buy crabs or go to a restaurant, they just don't get, right? Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.